everyone welcome to tech squads i am nancy punjabi and today i will be explaining how to use an interactive flat panel here you can see is a whooping 86 inch panel which is made up of four integrated elements audio video system display cpu and touch this panel has a 40 point touch and has a life span of 50000 hours the cpu is of 11th generation now i'll start with the demo of easy node which is an inbuilt software You see, writing on this panel is very easy. We use the stylus to write, and it can be used both the ways. For example, you can also change the color from both the sides. I select orange for one, and dipping for another. As clearly, I'm obsessed with that color. So you can write from this as well as from this side of the stylus. Now, the main question that pops up in the mind is: Is it engaging? will it engage our students so the answer is yes you can also insert ppts pdfs as well as images on a board from the menu section in a similar way we have a feature called smart write where you can casually write anything you just go and select you encircle it and you can click on the smart write it automatically changes into a present table as well as in a digital form if i further want to explain the word i have written i'll click on search and whatever the google knows about the particular word i have written will appear on the screen like this now what if i want to uh, insert an image or i want to pass on an information which is associated with the image so i'll simply click on this image i'll select and i'll simply click on insert now i have this image right here i can change its size and i can drag it anywhere on the screen as per my convenience now imagine if you're teaching a 10th grade and the chapter surface area and volume comes will you manually draw all the shapes while in the class no right so for the better understanding of the students and to save the teacher's time we have 2d as well as 3d shapes here you can select any shape and you can also select a color of your choice and it will simply appear on the board we can also drag it up to anywhere on the screen now uh, next what if i want to explain its formulas and i want to write all the formulas separately and for that i'll be needing a table right so we got you there You have a inbuilt table which you can change according to your preference and you can customize its size as well. For example, so it will appear here. Now, the highlighting feature of this table is as you keep writing beyond the length given, it will expand automatically. It automatically expands its capacity. How cool is that? Another useful feature we have is the components of geometry, accompanied with all of these tools for your mathematical preparation. For example, I want to draw a line, so I'll simply sketch it, and I have a straight and perfect line on the screen. You can also rotate it vertically, horizontally, as well as diagonally. Also, the USB of this feature is. you can also change its size according to your preference now since i am a 10th grade teacher what if i want to teach lines and angles i'll be needing a 90 degree angle for that right so we got you there too you can simply click on this you have to manually select an accurate angle of 90 degree click on this and you have a precise angle of 90 degree on the screen Now Nancy uh, what if i want to conduct a competitive analysis between my students do you have any particular feature for that yes i do here we have a feature called partition you can bifurcate your screen within two three or four parts now i'll go with the four you get four bifurcated screen and the main usp of this feature is that two people can write on this together That's what utilization is called. With this, you can write a question here and also write the question here you can call up students and whoever finishes first, whoever solves the questions first wins. 
Now, speaking of competitive analysis, Nancy, I'll be needing a timer also, and using of mobile phones isn't allowed in the classroom, right? And for teachers too to minimize and deduct the uses of mobile phone, the time uses of mobile phone, we have a timer feature live in our smart board. You can set the timer according to your preference, seconds, minutes, hours. Also, you can reset it whenever you want. You can pause it whenever you want. That's pretty progressive, right? But Nancy, is it only for grown-ups or the primary students can also take advantage of it? I got you there too. We have an option called Grid where I can free-handedly write anything. It automatically adjusted itself into the three to four lines as it is suitable for the toddlers and primary kids to understand it appropriately. Now, speaking of primary kids, I guess I have an exquisite feature for them. By clicking on this and selecting this particular pen, and I can free-handedly draw anything on the board. And as you can see, it will show numerous options, numerous images associated with the drawing I made. Now. What this will do, this image will create a drive in your children to grab the information faster as it is in image and animated form. Apart from this, the background you see is not static. By going to the menu and clicking on the theme, you get background as well as numerous kinds of tablets. I can change it to green, blue or pink, whatever according to my preference. And also you have one liners, two liners and you can also create a periodic table we have numerous spot related templates as this, this and this. Now I get a call that I have a deadline at 3 and I need to be reminded for that since I'm taking a class. What feature you have for that Nancy? I'll tell you. We have an option called sticky notes where you can manually write this automatically goes up there and you can also drag it anywhere in the screen. Now, you don't need any manual person to remind you since you have this feature now. Now, the crash course is going on and I need to tell my students the subjects, the chapters and the subtopics that are to be covered. How do I tell that since that, uh, that takes up a lot of time? For that, we have a feature too. You have this inbuilt mind map where you can manually type the subject. Now. Now the chapters are done. What about the topics and the subtopics? For that, you can add it up. And also the subtopic, topic, subtopic, this is an endless canvas for you. You can also minimize it. Now, after you're done with the lecture, you can save it in the various forms. You don't have to manually just go on the WhatsApp, then mail. You can also mail directly in the PDF, PPT, doc file, any form you like. You can simply click on the share and it will automatically generate a scanner and your students who obviously use a mobile phone can scan it directly and the whole form which you have created will automatically transfer into their mobile phones. Now, as you can see, I have created six pages. So I can simply add a page or I can switch to the previous one. It obviously avoids you from repetitive writing. Now, to sum it up, you should definitely go for an Evota 86 inch flat panel because it is highly engaging, its visual clarity and instant feedback customization. Also, it saves a lot of time for the teachers as well as for the students. So, what are you waiting for? Click on the link on description and go check out the products on our website and also you can give us a call in the number mentioned below and our team will contact you within four to eight hours. Bye-bye. Thank you.